Hey everyone, come join us for another episode of Mech Spotlight. Looking at today's star, I'm getting a sense of deja vu. It's a tank, it has an awesome shield, and its name is inspired by ancient Greek mythos. Meet the one and only Aegis. Actually, the Aegis might not be a shield at all and… No history lessons. Let's get on with the spotlight. Right, right. So imagine a juggernaut with the speed of a panther and a fancier shield. That's terrifying. Wait, you serious? Yep. Stat-wise, Aegis is a beast. It has HP comparable to a juggernaut, it's as fast as a panther, which is insanely good for a tank, and it has medium energy capacity, which is totally normal for a tank. And totally awesome for just about any mech out there. The super heavy weapons are off the table, but all the really strong workhorse weapons are accessible. Missile racks, carbines, javelins, and even lighter stasis beams and long arms. On top of its other stats, which sound like they're off the charts. They're really good. You're not wrong. But stats aren't what make AG special. What does then? Its ability, the dome shield. This thing is great. It covers an area top to bottom in an energy dome, protecting everyone inside from weapons and most ability effects. Whoa, no more running away like crazy at the first sign of artillery. Exactly, though there's a catch. Unlike Ares' wide shield and Panther's stasis barrier, the dome shield that Aegis creates won't let you shoot through it or use your abilities on enemies outside the shield. Oh, I guess that's fair. You can't have your cake and eat it too. And um, you said the dome shield blocks most abilities. What can go through it? System crash. Of course, those damn guardians just can't leave me alone. Hey, being a pain in the neck is their job. But yeah, System Crash will take the dome shield down, and it will affect all mechs hiding behind it. I'm guessing Shock Pulse will freeze me as well? Actually, no. Zephyr and Redox can't get you. System Crash is the only thing that entirely bypasses the dome shield, and everyone else will need to get inside if they want to make use of their abilities. Ha! I'd like to see them try to charge in. Wait. Yeah. Kill shots and surges can still ruin your day. The dome shield won't stop them dashing through, and they can either damage or stun you once they hit. All right, I, I think I'm starting to get a general idea about using Aegis. Oh yeah? For sure. It's a great mech, and the dome shield will help your team lots and lots. I mean, protecting them from artillery fire already counts for a ton, but you gotta be real strategic about how you use it. Your teammates won't be very happy if you block their line of fire with a huge impenetrable bubble. I know I wouldn't be. But then, using it to block a tight bottleneck and letting your friends escape a fight that's about to turn ugly can be the difference between victory and defeat. Just watch out for Guardians, kill shots, and Surges. That's universal good advice if I ever heard one. And since you know AG so well now, care to recommend some weapons? Hmm, I actually think Aegis can be very flexible. It's fast, it's tough, it can carry big guns, missile racks, carbines, disc launchers. Anything that can work for short or middle distances to make sure you've got a chance to fight back if someone gets under your dome. Yeah, agreed. I'd say avoid sniper weapons as well. While Aegis is tough and pretty fast, other mechs can do a sniper's job better. Panther and Ares can shoot through their defensive shields. Aegis cannot. Oh, I know. Artillery. Bingo. Though you can't protect your team while sitting behind the front lines, Aegis is a great artillery platform. It can fire off a salvo of rocket mortars or javelins, then hide under the dome shield if enemy artillery tries to get back at it. Feels almost like cheating. Well, no. If enemies catch you up close, you're toast. You can't delay retribution by deleting their ammo like Guardian or slowing them down like Redox. I guess that's true. Like I said before, advantages and drawbacks. And that's how proper balance works. And proper balance is what we strive for in Mech Arena. But that's about it for Aegis. We hope you guys enjoyed the spotlight. See you next time.